Chris Feld and welcome to Lakeside News Weekly, your guide to news and events going on in the Lake Minnetonka area. First up on today's show, we'll head to Shorewood City Hall to meet Communications Coordinator Julie Moore in another edition of LMCC's Meet Your City Employee. I have been with the City of Shorewood for 14 years. I started as just the communications person and was just doing the newsletter, and the position has grown quite a bit in the last 14 years. My duties are kind of broad range. I am a single in the department, so I handle the newsletter and all print communications. I coordinate and maintain the website, not just for the City of Shorewood, but for the Arctic Fever Winter Festival and for the South Shore Community Center. I also do the marketing as the communications coordinator for the recycling program and try to educate the public on new things coming up. One of the biggest challenges is budget. We don't have the budget to advertise and market and do special mailings and things all of the time to the community. We are really very lucky that our city council wants to continue to have the print newsletter monthly. Our city council is also very actively pursuing more trails in the area. What's really nice is actually the size. We're big enough that we can do quite a few things. We can be innovative, we can try new things, yet we're small enough that we, we can kind of accomplish those things. I work pretty closely with the uh, Chamber of Commerce in Excelsior. We do some tied-in activities with the Excelsior Lake Minnetonka Historical Society, you know, all the community organizations, as well as Tonka Bay and Excelsior. We're real big in the Arctic Fever Winter Festival and we're going to be celebrating our 10th year this year. It's always the third weekend in January and now we start with a Friday night event, we have an all day Saturday event and then we have a princess tea on Sunday and lots of park events. You know, we have music in the park coming up at Freeman Park and we've done that for several years and we just are always trying new things to get the community together and out. South Shore Center is kind of a hidden little community center. We do have senior programming during the day, most Monday through Friday. You can rent it for reunions, wedding space, people have memorial celebrations, there are dance classes down there, there are education programs. It's kind of for everything. We're a great city that, that offers terrific services to our community, but yet we're not so urban that you don't still get that little bit of a rural feeling. I think people like that. They like all the green space. They like the fact that we're, you know, a little spread out, bigger lots, great schools. It's diverse. It's really fun talking to the community. I have the luxury of, because I write the things and I talk to the people, a lot of people kind of recognize my name and know me and I live in the community. So it's really nice getting out there and, and being able to know the people that I work with. Hi, my name is Craig Anderson, director of the 24th Annual Crime Prevention Golf Fundraiser. The Crime Prevention Fund is a 501c3 organization. 100% of the profits go to support youth, drug awareness, and crime prevention programs. Simply put, we fundraise to support crime-free, safe communities. This year's golf fundraiser will be held at Deer Run Golf Club on Friday, June 5th. Admission is only $125 per golfer. It includes 18 holes of golf, lunch, dinner, driving range, golf carts, a silent auction, and lots of fun. And if you prepay with two foursomes, you'll get a reduced price. Join us on Friday, June 5th at Deer Run Golf Course and start your weekend by giving to a great cause. For more information about sponsoring, prepaid discounts, or donating to the Crime Fund, click on the link located in the comments section below. And if you know of anyone that might be interested in participating in our tournament, please share this video. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you all on Friday, June 5th at Deer Rock. Welcome back to Lakeside News Weekly. Now it's time to feature some upcoming events going on in our LMCC member cities. Here's the Lakeside Community Calendar.
The Shorewood Park Commission presents Music in the Park on Friday, June 12th from 6 to 8 p.m. at Freeman Park in Shorewood, Minnesota with live music featuring the Shalo Lee Band. Concessions are available. For more information, go to the City of Shorewood website at www.ci.shorewood.mn.us. Do you know of an upcoming event going on in the lake area? Email us at lmcc at lmcc-tv.org. Summertime is in the air, so mark your calendars and get out and enjoy the annual Concerts in the Park taking place in Excelsior and Mound in 2015. Never met a girl who made me feel the way that you do. You're all right. The concerts in Excelsior are held at the Commons Park on Wednesday nights and run from 6.30 to 9 p.m. Food, beer, and wine will be served from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. Look out, baby, who's here by come. On May 20th, the Lamont Cranston Band. On June 17th, Wild Colonial Boys. On July 15th, the Brute Squad. Get ready, cause here I come. Yeah. Run away, baby, like a runaway train. On August 12th, Socaholics. On September 9th, Hitchville. Like a runaway train, run away and never back. On Saturday, September 12th, there will be a special kids concert from 11 a.m. to noon featuring the Splatter Sisters. The concerts in Mound are held at Surfside Park on Thursday nights and begin at 7 p.m. The kickoff to Summer Barbecue is on June 11th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. The Tuxedo Band will be performing along with concessions, lawn games, face painting, and a canned food drive to support We Can's mobile market. There will be more concerts throughout the summer on June 18th, June 25th, July 9th, July 16th, and July 23rd, with the bands to be determined. Be sure to get out to the parks and enjoy your community. We'll see you there. Hey, Zachary. You ready? Yes. You looking good. The odds of a child becoming a professional athlete, one in 16,000. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism, one in 150. You know the odds of autism. Now learn the signs. Go to AutismSpeaks.org. Here's what's coming up on First Responder TV. I'll head to the Orono Police Department to talk with Police Chief Corey Farniak. Kyle Kirshner, Community Service Officer with the Orono Police Department, will teach us the proper techniques for installing child safety seats. We'll introduce you to the 2015 Hennepin County Sheriff's Office Special Deputy of the Year. We'll give you an update on scams that have been targeting citizens in the lake area. First Responder TV airs daily on LMCC's Channel 12. Well, there you have it. News and events happening around the Lake Minnetonka area. For more information about LMCC or to learn more about our programming, go to our website at www.lmcc-tv.org. Thanks for watching this edition of Lakeside News Weekly. What are you looking at? Stand still and look straight into the camera. Ugh. No, I have not been drinking. If your drinking is affecting your life, look us up. We're in your phone book and on the web. We're Alcoholics Anonymous, and we're here to help.